Hi, I'm Chaplain William Johnson from the Spiritual Care Department here with our Monday morning meditation. Uh, I am amazed at how uh, a simple little word, four letter word uh, that we all know a lot and we may share a lot, uh, sometimes forbidden, uh, can make such a difference in life. It's called love. And love ought to be something that is not just superficial or artificial, but it also calls for us for a deeper level of sacrificial understanding. And so it is. When we talk about love, we talk about it in many ways. Uh, and even at a time long past Valentine's Day or long past the giving of gifts or the moments in which we have set love uh, on a pedestal, love goes throughout uh, our lives in ways that calls for us to take a moment and take time to process, to think about, and even to reimagine it. So I want to talk about making love work, making love work. Uh, we have learned uh, and have shared and talked uh, so much about love. We have songs written about love, poems that were written about love, movies that were made about love, conversations about love, teenage love, adolescent love, adult maturing love, love that lasts a lifetime, love of things, love of people, love of places, love of ourselves. Uh, our love and our engagement in such a topic in our American society is one of those things that sometimes leaves many of us, <laughs> frankly, very confused. But I want to say something about love, love uh, that has its goal uh, to make change, uh, and to transform our society and to transform our lives, uh, sometimes it's quite rare. Uh, uh, the way we throw around the terms, uh, we can all uh, kind of point to examples in our lives in which uh, we've spoken about the things that we love and that the people that we love, only to discover that we have lived our lives sometimes disappointed and sometimes frustrated by our experiences. So. Well, what are you talking about, uh, Chaplain Don Johnson, when you talk about love? What are you trying to say to us today? Well, uh, there is uh, uh, in uh, the Gospel of Matthew a story where in which uh, the question is asked of Jesus, uh, what the great commandment is, the greatest of all commandments. And Jesus responds to them who asked him and said, uh, the great commandment is this. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind, uh, and all your strength. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two uh, laws hang all uh, the laws of the prophet, to love. Uh, and I think what our world is in need of, what our experiences are in need of, even what we need, need in the hospital, is a remedy that is based on that four letter word called love. To love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength means to be able to show deference to the one who created us and to recognize that who we are and who we'll always be comes from the mind, the thought, and the creative energy of such a divine presence. It also calls for us to love our neighbor uh, and to love those who are our neighbor. Jesus tells a parable about uh, the Good Samaritan, just to uh, delineate and to make it clear who our neighbors are. And they are not necessarily the people who live next to us or uh, the ones who are homogeneous to our own culture or our background, not just those who are our friends, not those who move in our circle, not those who ca carry the same ideas and ideals that we share. This love is that we are called to give is for the neighbor for the one who may not be a part of our group, the one who we may not share in conversation. And I could not think of a better time for us to uh, dig into the well of the power of love now, to love one another as God has loved us. And Jesus gives this added piece to love your neighbor as you love yourself. The indication is that we can't love ourselves more than we love others, and we can't love others more than we love ourselves, and we can't love either uh, others or ourselves more than we love God, the one who created us, because God is the one who teaches us how to love. 
Well, I, I'm glad that you have to make love work, however. Love is more than a notion or something that we put on our wall or something that we stick on our page uh, in social media or even in pictures and with hearts that we uh, share in celebration with little emojis. Love is much deeper than that. Love is not simply sacrificial. Uh, it is uh, one of those things that goes deeper than just our own personal sacrifice. It is all encompassing of what it is that we are as human beings that we all come from the same place, flow in the same stream, live by the same edict, that God does love us. And so we move to this rhythm, we bound to this rhythm, we laugh, we play, we have joy to this rhythm called love. So I'm in in encouraging you to live with such an ethic, to love one another, to love yourself, and ultimately love God. Make love work for you. Because if anything else, it won't matter how much money you have if you don't have love. It won't matter how big your family is if you don't have love. It, it, don't, it doesn't matter how much career uh, 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 support or rather uh, success you have if you don't have love. Love is that thing that makes all the other things make sense. Uh, without it, uh, having a family doesn't make sense. Without it, having money doesn't make sense. Without it, having uh, a community or having success or owning property or doing any of the things that this world says is important, it, none of it makes sense without love. And in essence, that means none of it makes sense without God, for God is love. The writer John says these words, uh, in first John, beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. The person that loves not does not know God for God is love. And we come back and say, beloved, let us love one another. That's first John chapter four, verses seven and eight. Remind yourself that to love God means you love your neighbor and love yourself. There's no way to love God and not love your neighbor. There's no way to love God and not love yourself. And so it is to love God with all our hearts, mind, soul, and strength, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves, is the way we make love work. Let's do it. Special thanks to all of our administrators and to our care staff who care for our patients, to all of you who are able to hear and share in these messages of inspiration and encouragement. We thank you for your feedback and we are praying for you each day. Remember, you are loved, you are appreciated, and you are irreplaceable. Have a great day and have a great week. God bless.